Hello, and welcome to Bear and Breakfast. Uh, this is a cat game. I know, uh, I'm doing a different game now. A bear game, actually. Uh, there will be more episodes of Stray. Um, just haven't gotten around to editing them yet. Um, but yeah, I wanted to try this game out. This game looked cute and fun. It's a uh, management simulator where you're running a bed and breakfast as a bear. And it's got a pretty cute art style, so I thought we'd give it a shot. Save one. So yeah, we're just going to jump right in. Make like a YouTuber. Jump right in. Why can't I ever fall asleep on time? I'm gonna be so tired tomorrow. Mom's gonna kill me. Hank's hands got very cold all of a sudden. Okay. His forehead felt heavy with a crushing pressure. A dark figure with glowing eyes stared from far away. Weathered stones and dry wood surrounded it. Suddenly a blinding jolt of lightning illuminated the sky. Thunder cracked. A shriek pierced through the air. There was no one there. Everything fell dark and silent again, except for the rain. Forget I said anything. Sleep is overrated. Hello? I can't move. Do not. Don't what? See? Because that's already happening. Move. Can't do that either. Uh, wazed to move around. That's a weird thing to say. Well, that's convenient. Oh, it's wet. Find. I mean, like an introspection thing? Find some bed. Find a bed. Ah, there we go. Sleep. Yeah, sure, I'll just take a nap in the deathbed. Eat, interact. Okay. Excellent. Don't. You're not great at making your mind up. Auto saved. Wake. Don't wake? Not what I was expecting. That's it. No more dumplings before bed. For the third time, Hank! Uh-oh, better see what's up. Okay, here we go. Sleep is overrated. Can interact with the guitar. Well, I can, sort of. Oh. Excellent. That's a doorway. This is a lovely house. Oh, I can. Okay, I can turn the lamp on from outside. The thicket. Can't sit. Can't go that way. Turn on more lamps. Is this a doorway? Yes, it is. Ah! Hank, I'm up, I'm up. Why aren't you a bag of bones? Good to see hibernation hasn't kicked in yet. You can't call it that every time I get a little extra sleep. Besides, besides what? I had a hard time sleeping. Too many thoughts. Well, that runs in the family. Have you tried thinking less? Gee, thanks, Mom. No, I'm... Where's Annie? Oh, in a room with Will, probably. I should go wake him up. All right, honey. While in adventure mode, you can control Hank using WASD. Yep, got that. Uh, next. Zoom the camera in and out. Oh, God. You can also do that. Uh, interact. Auto 
autosave feature, do not exit the game. Yep, the basics. You can access game settings, achievements, through the pause menu. Great. What a lovely home. Oh, that's how you zoom. Okay, now we're going this way. Oh, hello. Good, get out. Morning! Out! That's not very good morning of you. There's nothing good about being up this early. Hmm, I don't smell any reasons to be up yet. What do you mean? I could smell him a mile away. Delightful, both of you. What's on the docket today, boss? Taking a new hole next to the other holes? Actually, Mom said she might let us cross the creek today and check under the bushes for mushrooms. What'd I tell you? I live for the hunt. How can we never get to do fun stuff anymore? Like a good old visit to the dumpster. We're not allowed past the fence anymore. Besides, there hasn't been any new garbage in months. Well, we won't find any garbage or shroomies in here. Let's go already. You're on his side now? It's morning. We're up. Let's go do stuff. They warned me betrayal never comes from your enemies. Get cracking completed. Oh, and we're outside. Hank, kids, over here. Get your digging claws ready. Here it comes. Coming. All right. Adventure mode. In adventure mode, you can walk around, interact with things, pick up items in your inventory. Inventory is access to the adventure mode menu. Holds every item you find in the world. You can use filters to organize. Or the organize button to sort through items magically. Or throw away whatever you don't need using the delete slot. Minimap displays your current location, day, time, and allows you to navigate the world. So neat. Magic elk statue thingy. Hey Ma. Morning kids. Morning, Mrs. M. Ma'am. Did you sleep alright? As good as ever. Good enough. Whatever that means. Good, today is a very special day. I need you to go on the hunt. Alright, point me to the hole. To Black Moss. What? What? I know I said no going past the fence, but you've all been so good, and I need your help. Ah! <laughs> the bush around the tombstone is getting a little thick, and the flowers aren't in bloom anymore, so I'll need you to find me a bundle of alligator weed. I can't believe we get to leave this stinking place. <laughs> I mean, uh, adventure! Adventure! Anyway, Hank, you're in charge of this operation. Here's... here, this is what I'm looking for. In fact, take the whole notebook so you don't forget. The notebook. Find it in your collectibles, but don't lose it again. I won't. He will. He will. Alright, you three, and remember, you're getting that bundle and straight back. Not one step further than the swamp. Yes, Ma? Just got the notebook, which is a collectible item. Collectibles are special items that you unlock for your character. Give various perks. Find your current unlocked collectibles in the character screen. Now access the quest log from the menu bar. It shows your current quests, allow you to track them, and find objectives using the arrows indicator. Quests which will lead you towards finishing the main story of the game will be flagged. Quest status icons will display over characters. Orange means available, blue means in progress, green means ready. Cool. Down the black moss hole. This is not what I was expecting, really. Uh, okay, quests, yep. Character. Okay. Excellent. Inventory. Very good. Can't read what it says. Make sure you don't leave on an empty stomach. Too much food makes you sleepy. Too little makes you... makes you dumb. Okay. Can't run. That's sad. Alright, we gotta go this way. And it's nighttime now all of a sudden. I thought it was day. Is it not just day? Oh yeah, we're going this way. 
three friends found themselves farther than they'd ever gone before, past the soothing meadows and the quiet streams of the thicket. Margaret wouldn't know, but this was not exactly their first adventure. Annie, the Karelian dog? Brave but clumsy. Will, the poor Will. Grumpy on the outside, but surprisingly, even more so on the inside. And Hank, the brown bear, cheerful and curious, but maybe a little concerned about the promise he made back home. No, Mom, I'm definitely not going to wander too far in an adventurous fashion. I promise. Uh-oh. It's dork. All right, gang, sp spread out. All right, a bunch of see you later. Find some alligator weed for Margaret. Oh yeah, he is tiny. Oh, there's some. Tire screech. Okay. What in the what? I heard it too. We'd better go. But we haven't found the thing for your mom yet. I'm with Hank. Let's see where that sound came from. That's not what I meant. We're going back. You know what? I bet it's a brand new garbage truck. Don't care. Mom said straight back. Let's go. She also said to get some gator weed. We haven't found any yet. Maybe there's some in the truck. No, come back. Classic. Uh, oh, can't go that way. Oh, that's water. Okay. Water... Water. Go. Oh, there's nothing. Good lord. Alright. Oh, sorry if I'm yawning a lot. It's the end of the day for me. Is this where I'm supposed to go? No. But there is a quest marker here. That's one big rock. Oh, okay. That's it. There was a noise. Whoa. Timber crossing. Achievement get. Oh, they freaking hauled. All buttocks. Luxurious outhouse. Okay. Oh, hello. Wood pile, nice. Uh, do I have that? What did I get? Uh, inventory. Plywood plank, not pine wood. Okay. Oh, there's some stuff in there. Excuse me while I loot. Bus station. Okay. Okay, so this seems kind of like the main area? Collected four valuables. Oh. Uh, nice. I can rebuild that. I should probably... Cotton sheet, iron nails, okay. I think we're slowly starting to get towards the... Collected five valuables. Six valuables, okay. Slowly getting towards the um, bed and breakfast part of the game. Finn. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by the throat and show it who's boss. Shark, the strange shark had a shiny, bouncy exterior and wore cool sunglasses. A little gray speaker box was strapped to his neck, blurting out nonsense. It reminded Hank's. It reminded Hank of Will's TV. Next to it, a little car had a big, big advert for something called Pawn Voyage. Nothing weird about it at all. Nothing to lose. Okay. Hello. Be part of the next exciting experience. Enticing escape. Electrifying enterprise. Is someone in there? You there, fine gentleman in the uh, orange coat. I am pretty gentle. How would you like to own the next minor share in the next major m maneuver? Well, I'm not into anything major, but I do like sharing. 
And I must reiterate, the share is very minor. What do we get to share again? Very, very minor. How exactly are you talking? On Voyage is a multinational, multi-layered, multi-year friend corporation. What the? Offering secured touristry adjacent goods and services in exchange for valuable personal collateral. You lost me. Don't think he ever had me to begin with. Just bring in your old useless priceless family jewelry or expensive heirloom of choice and we'll give you a one to three day all-inclusive voucher for the vacation of a lifetime. Sorry buddy, I don't have anything expensive or a, or a heirloom. Pond Voyage is also on the lookout for brand new ventures and locations. Why does he keep saying it like that? For its millions of customers all around the valley. We will take any location or premises. I think that's how you're supposed to read it. No matter how run down or decrepit. To offer our very human patrons the holidays they deserve. Oh, maybe not. Wait, for humans to live here? I don't think anyone wants to live here. They're just tourists. I've seen this before. The humans wander around where Shark Boy tells them. Then they stare at the trees and try to forget whatever they're running from. <laughs> I read it in a magazine. Humans are whack. Amen, brother. If you were a friend or a friend, if you or a friend of a friend would like to offer your home or house to become a Pond Voyage premium premises by restoring, repairing, and redecorating and bringing it up to a minimum standard, which frankly, oh, typo, which frankly no one enforces, I'm guessing, and drastically, barely alter your monthly income. Simply press the green button under my gullet and a representative will get in touch. I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea what he just said. If I heard that shark right, I'm pretty sure it wants to give us money. Human grade, primo quality, shiny money. All I heard was that humans are coming back. Well, the money has to get here somehow. Humans. I've barely seen one in months. And that's more than enough. Hello? Don't you see what this means? With all your oddly alarming strength, my foolproof understanding of all things, and spoil sports cheerful attitude, I am cheerful. I just don't care for him, that's all. We stand to make a boatload of cash. I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea what he just said. Human, back, money, give, good. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Is anything other than good? Look, just go tell the shark we're in. We'll just use any broken down shed. They're all abandoned anyway. Alright. Visibility. Within the adventure mode menu, you have two additional options. If you're not a fan of the dark, after midnight you can sleep until the following morning. This also advances time. And if you'd like to see inside of most buildings, you can lower the roof and walls. Okay. And we do that here, right? Show walls. Ah, oh, nice. Cool. Alright. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Press the green button. Here we go. That's why we're here. Hello again. Congratulations. You have been automatically entered into a standard legally binding agreement. By using your fingerprint and identification data from the local police department. Welcome to family. Error. Unknown pattern. Name suits you. You are now contractually obligated to provide your premium property details within the next three business days. Simply press the green button under my gullet when the premises... I am reading that right, right? Yeah. The premises are ready to accept our first guest. Alright, who knows anything about human houses? Well, I used to look at the pictures of the houses in the magazine we found. Could the humans maybe just live under a bus? No, I don't think that cuts it. They're fragile and get scared easily. Sounds familiar. I think I know a thing or two about making a place cozy. And I do not get scared that easily. Yeah, but I think we need help too. We should go find Tony. I really don't think we should bother him. He won't mind. Besides, I think he'll enjoy the company. I don't even know where he is these days. I doubt, I doubt he ever left Sawdust. Go see if you can sniff him out and tell him we need his master woodwork skills. That'll get him going. Alrighty. Uh, gotta go this way. I could probably start. All that's missing is a picnic basket. basket. What is this? I can't tell. Yeah, because it's probably fixed. Yeah, heck yeah, boy. Let's do it. 
can now be used to build rooms and craft furniture. Sweet. Oh, did I not? I didn't pick that up. Oh, no building available in this area. Okay. I do this. Ooh, not quite. Need Tony for that one. Big Tony. Okay. Yeah, we already looted that. What about this guy? No. Definitely not. Okay. Well, we gotta go back up this way. What does this say? Two sawdust. Yeah, what are we at? 20 minutes? Yeah, I don't know how long I want to do episodes of these. I might also not do episodes. I might try streaming. We'll see. And we'll see how long I last in this game. I don't know if, like, I'll uh, make a full series on this or anything, but we shall see. Hmm, why not simply punch the trees? Ah, Minecraft reference. I think. I don't know. Oh, oh okay. Should definitely, I think it'd be nice if it just, like, automatically, you know? My god, a bear! It's just me, sir. Hank from the thicket. Oh, goodness. You can talk? <laughs> I'm just yanking your tail, boy. How's your mother? She's great. Listen, I wanted to ask if you could help us. We've got a help. Why didn't you say so? What do you need? A stack of birch? Well, actually, my friends and I were wondering. An oak spoon? Oh, I think Margaret would love that. Has anyone taught you how to saw yet? No, there's this shark in Timber Crossing. Oh, oh, a redwood plaque for your fish. He says he's bringing humans to the valley. Oh, well, we haven't seen those in a while, have we? What could I possibly have to do with that? How much do you know about building things? For humans, I mean. Well, as you of course know, everything people make is perfect. When I took over the mill here, I found all these papers and schematics. It felt like stumbling upon artifacts. Never thought wood could take so many shapes. Look here. Elaborate contours, knotty frames, perfect angles. Clearly only an incredible being, being could come up with all of this. Whoa. Can you make all that? Oh, anyone can. It's quite simple once you figure out how to read these things. Would you... Would you like me to teach you? Yes. Well, I was hoping you could help us fix up this old shack in Tipper Crossing. Oh. How wonderful. We'll need my back saw and mallet. A lat... We'll need my back saw and mallet, a ladder, oh, and a couple stacks of pine. Fetch those for me, will you? The bright yellow ones? They're all yellow! <laughs> nice. Oh, uh, you can interact with material. Yeah, I've been doing that. Press E again on the container screen to take everything inside it quickly. Yeah, figured that out. You can also split stacks for multiple items. Scavenging is one of the main ways for you to obtain the materials. Certain materials will respawn periodically inspected with Oh, okay, cool. What will be found near trees, stone and marble near rocks, junk around the garbage dump, and so on. So are any extra materials in the stash near the pond voyage car in each area. Cool. This looks different. Pine wood, plywood. Okay. Ooh, I'm gonna get some dark wood too. Mahogany. Then nice. Then nice indeed. Uh, let's do 30 minutes. Why not? Or maybe we'll just, like, be more chill with it. Like, just go until we, like, get our first building or something, maybe? Uh -huh. Oh. Is there a snake? What was I hearing? What is that noise? Hmm. I wonder where a tree this big could fit. Um, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Uh. 
get oh <laughs> I'm very much done we'll get some more never have enough wood Right, Tony. So, did you find all the wood? Uh, yep, got it right here. Grant, perfect, you're doing such a great job. Uh, thanks, I just picked it off the ground. Amazing! Now, I'm headed to Timber Crossing, I'll see you there. Alright. Help the little help. Alright. I have to... Yeah, how do I... I can only sleep at night. I have to go to my bed to do that though, right? <laughs> I'm guessing we probably oh, yeah, go this way. Should I get more wood? Yeah. I wonder <laughs> if the end of the game is just gonna be us finally going back home with the gator weed. Uh, right, we have to go down here. Mm -hmm. Yes, all of that is wonderful. And we're gonna use this old shed. Haven't seen a human, human claim, it, claim it in years, good lord. Oh yes, this will do nicely. Look who decided to finally show up. As I was telling your friend here, the wood you brought ought to be enough. I'll get started on this. First, you'll have to clean up the shed of all the garbage. Already done, man. I think I can do that. It's already done. Did you clean up the shed? Yep. Great. Now I'll have to use this old workbench. The what? Well, you can't hammer a nail in thin air. You need some place to make it work. The table next to the tree, Hank. Grab some wood and put it back together. All done, sir. Like brand spanking new. It's good. Enough. Uh, thanks. Excuse me. He's going to work. Nice. Baby's first building. Excuse me. You have plenty of time to get better. Now humans got over the cold stone floors. Now humans got over the cold stone floors and itchy hay a while ago. They would much rather sleep on a clean, soft, springy surface. Here, this is none of those things, but it'll do. Stock update. Gradually unlock new crafting recipe, shabby pallet bed. Go make one at the workbench. Alright. Uh, crafting items, once repaired, workbench, craft items, build rooms. Craft functional furniture, use the workbench, enter the crafting menu. Functional objects are specific to room types, enter craft different materials. Beds give comfort and belong in bedrooms. Toilets give hygiene and belong in bathrooms, etc. Once you're done, exit build mode and use the by using the exit button. Learn new blueprints from quests or by buying them and interacting with them to learn the recipes. Buy more blueprints at the Palm Void Shop as they become available. All right, crafting shabby pallet bed. Let's do it. Cool. Anything else? No. Prestige. Hmm. Uh, exit. Okay. Oh, more wood. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. Were you able to make that bed? Put it right here. Didn't think it could look worse than the schematics, but here we are. Oh, I mean, excellent. You're doing so well. Better than mine back home. That's just sad. Well, hurry along and put it to good use. Make a bedroom and put the bed in it. Alright, building rooms. Use the workbench to build and edit rooms within the cabins of your resorts. Access build mode. Pick a room type from the list. Some resorts only supply support a limited number of room types. Draw the footprint of the room until you reach the minimum required size at least. Add or remove tiles using the plus and minus tile buttons. Every room requires a door to function, but a room can have multiple doors. Add more with the add doors button. Rooms also require mandatory objects. 
All in build mode. Grab furniture from your inventory. Place it in your cabin. Rotate by pressing R. Confirm building the room. Clicking the check mark. Make sure nothing's overlapping. Edit or delete rooms in build mode by selecting one and using the room panel buttons. All right, here we go. Uh, build room. Uh, comfort room. Yeah. Okay. So I think is that supposed to be a? Oh yeah, we can also do this too, can't we? Floor up. Floor down. Oh, is there two floors? Uh, no. I think there's only one floor. Uh, let's do. Oh God. <laughs> and not what I wanted. Uh, how do I? Selection. No. Uh, how do you? Build room. Add door, add window. Yeah, remove tile. Oh, there we go. Selection is not linked to previous selection. Cannot create split rooms. Okay. How big is the... Wait, can I not drop this yet? Oh, is it because I'm... Probably. Create room. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's... Object is outside of the blueprint area for the house. What? Shabby pallet can be placed in a hallway. I'm not in a hallway though. Object is outside. Oh, this is weird. Can I? Oh, do I have to? Room size or what? <laughs> oh, I'm so confused. Um, okay. No single room can have that shape. So you add doors to the walls. Okay. Selection, so you have to add there. Okay. Uh huh. Cannot be placed in a hallway. Why is it considered a hallway? Am I missing something? Minimum size, two by three. This is... I'm 
know why this is so confusing. I'm a functional bedroom. Okay. Add tile. Minimum size 2x3. So. And I can't place this down yet because I need to put or I need to build the bedroom first. So why can't I? Maybe. I see now. I see. Okay. That was confusing. You have to make the square. I forgot that part. Are you just adding walls? Okay. Oh, and it just automatically gives me a door. Let's grab this guy. I don't want that there, though. I want this gone. We're gonna... Yeah, we're gonna go where we were, I think, yeah, and then put that, um, like, maybe, there, and then a bed, and we'll put it there, great, oh, that took a while. <laughs> Uh, okay, now we can uh, exit. Able to make that bedroom. Yes, sir, stains and all. Brilliant, I almost prefer it to the dead tree I used to sleep in. You encourage weird. All right, now this is the most important step. Humans always need to feed their false sense of superiority by having someone around that they can look down on. You sure seem to know a lot about that. So we're going to need to make them feel welcome by putting down a little table at the front of the house. That tells them where to go. And a little black book to keep the records for the shark. Ah, uh, yes. Here's how you make it quite straightforward, really. Front desk recipe. After you've made it, just put it down in the shed, and then it's time to rake in the dough. All right. Uh, inventory? Nope. Crafting. We want this guy. Build it. Uh, nope. Uh, how do we... Oh, just inventory. Okay. Uh, there is probably good. For now. And then exit. Place the front desk. Yep, it's in there. That looks good. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you're a natural, Hank. Such a fast learner. It's not that great. It took me forever, and there's barely anything in there. Are they even gonna like it? You sure know how to take a compliment. Oh, uh, sorry. Thank you? Thank you. Sorry. Go talk to Sharky Boy. Tell him he got his joint ready. Oh, there's a train. That's fun. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Uh, yes. Hello, we'd like to have some humans over. Congratulations, your premium property is now listed on the network. Woohoo! Time had come to unleash something both intriguing and unfortunate on Silver Valley. People. These dewy, mostly hairless creatures were a controversial topic in the neighborhood. Some thought they were godly beings forging the world with their magic and machines. Mostly because they left behind food and other stuff that animals liked. Others would throw a fit of rage, calling them unqualified harbingers of doom. A bit dramatic, if you asked Hank. All he knew for sure was that his mom always said, keep your distance. So much for that. Congratulations, yep, you can now start earning hardly life-changing income. Simply accept your first guest through your front desk and give them the experience of a lifetime. Here we go. Um, okay, well, that's definitely 
good, I think. We'll pause there. Um, thank you for tuning in to Bear and Breakfast. There will be more episodes on this soon, I imagine. And maybe some streams as well. We'll see. But yeah, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.